Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing a smart home energy monitoring device, the Miros MSS310 Wi-Fi plug. We'll be focusing on giving you cost-effective ways to monitor your electrical usage and doing it safely. I'll walk you through the features, pair with the Miros application, then integrate into Home Assistant, show you how to visualize this usage with the built-in Home Assistant energy monitoring dashboard, then round up with my thoughts as to if you should buy the MSS310, upgrade to it or skip it. So let's plug in and hopefully get those sparks flying. I'll be demonstrating on the Miros MSS310 energy monitoring plug. Check the link in the description to the Miros site, as this plug comes in many different versions that are compatible with different regions. Now the MSS310 is not the cheapest energy monitoring plug on the market, but there is a good reason for that. Firstly, Miros has spent the time and money to get their plugs certified in the respective countries, such as America, Europe and Australia. So unlike some cheaper brands that you can buy on discount marketplaces, you have the assurance that this product passes all the certifications for your country and will not burn down your home and invalidate your insurance policy. Then from an integration perspective, this is not a Toya based device and instead is accessible through the feature rich Miros application. The application is available from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Then you get the usual integrations into Amazon Alexa, Google Home and SmartThings plus Home Assistant, which we'll integrate into later in the video. You not only get control of your sockets from anywhere in the world, but local control for when the internet is down. With local control comes super quick response time with a claim of down to 0.01 seconds as opposed to three seconds when commands need to be sent over the internet, not to mention the additional security that local control offers. Then you get the usual scheduling and timing controls that you can be set within the Miros app. Then you come to the number one feature of this Miros energy monitoring plug, and that's its ability to energy monitor with daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly statistics, as well as instant power consumption, all stored on AWS secure servers that can be made available within Home Assistant through integration. The smart plug is made of PC flame retardant material that has been approved for safety and quality assurances. It supports appliances up to 10 amps in Australia and America, while those of you in the UK and Canada get 13 amps, and for the lucky Europeans, you get 16 amps. Two other important features to mention is that this plug gets over the air updates, which all smart home devices should have. And when I installed this plug, it received an update. So it's great to see that they're continuing to maintain the firmware. And finally, you get free shipping on all orders, which is three to five business days for America, Canada and Australia, plus a 45 day refund guarantee. See the T's and C's for details. Firstly, we're going to need the Miros application. I'll put links for both the iOS and Android in the description. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be installing it on an iPhone. I'll assume that you have already downloaded this app and set up the account. Plug in your Miros plug. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Select smart plug. Now select the MSS310. Now if the LED on the top of the plug is not flashing, press the button to turn the plug on. Now press next. Confirm that your plug is flashing green and amber and press next. Now select the pairing mode, which we're going to use basic. Now press the go to Wi-Fi settings. Select the Miros plug hotspot and switch back to the Miros application. The Miros plug will be found and added to your account. Now give your new Miros plug a name and press done. Select an icon and press next. Select your 2.4 gigahertz network, making sure that you select the encrypted if a password is required. Enter in your Wi-Fi password and press done. The plug will now reconnect to your Wi-Fi network and finalize its setup. Once completed, press done. Your new plug will now be displayed and can be controlled using the power button in the top right hand corner of the tile. The Miros plug cannot be added directly to Home Assistant, so instead we'll need to add the Miros integration. Now there are no native Home Assistant integrations for Miros, but there are two integrations from within Hacks. If you don't have Hacks loaded, then use the link in the pop-up to install Hacks, then come back to this video. In the menu on the left hand side, navigate to Hacks. Now search for Miros. The search will return two different Hacks integrations for Miros. 
Miros LAN features direct HTTP connections for devices it finds on your LAN. However, when I tested it, it didn't recognize any devices with a Home Assistant auto discovery, regardless of power cycling the devices. I'll investigate this further, as this is obviously the preferred option. Once working, I'll create a video for the Miros devices controlled locally. Miros integration, on the other hand, works over the internet. It's easy to install and works perfectly. I'll put GitHub links to both in the description. And if you managed to get the Miros LAN working, then let us know in the comments what was the secret. Now select Miros integration. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Now confirm your download by pressing the download button. You'll notice a notification appears in the settings. This is for a restart. Press the restart and submit. Now confirm by pressing finish. Home Assistant will now restart. Once Home Assistant comes back, navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. In the bottom right hand corner, press Add Integration. Search for and select Miros Cloud IoT. It's at this stage that we can configure this for LAN control, but we'll cover that in a separate video. Select Connect to Miros Official Cloud and press Submit. Enter the email and password account that you used for your Miros account. Select Skip MQTT Certification Checks. Now press Submit. You'll be greeted with a success message and all the devices associated with your Miros account will be displayed. Optionally set the areas and press finish. Now search for and select Miros. Now select devices. Our three devices will now show up. Now let's select our Miros plug and see what we are returned. We can see in controls there is a main channel. This is the main switch that actually turns on or off the plug. There is an additional control for do not disturb. I haven't been able to find out what this is about. If you do know, then please let us know in the comments. Inside of the sensors, you can see the instantaneous current, voltage and power, plus watt hours, which is the accumulated power usage by time. Each of these entities can now be displayed on a dashboard, or alternatively, they can be used inside of automations. Home Assistant has a built-in energy tracking and display tool that can be accessed in the left-hand menu under the name of Energy. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner and select energy configuration. This dashboard allows you to track and graphically display against electrical grid energy, solar panels, battery home energy, gas consumption and water consumption. And importantly for us, in the bottom right hand corner, it has individual devices to be added. Press add device. Home Assistant will only display entities that are within the power domain, which is measured in watts. I'll be selecting the plug that we just added and press save. For comparison purposes, I'll add another device. Press add device. Use the drop down and I'll select a separate plug and press save. Now press the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Scrolling down to the individual device's detail usage, you should now see your energy consumption in a hysteresis graph with a bar graph of total consumption below. So the Miros Energy Monitoring Plugs, what do I think? They are well made, offer full certification to all regions they are sold in. They are simple to install and configure in the Miros app, Home Assistant, Alexa, Google and SmartThings. They offer blinding fast response from the Miros app and are super secure with historic data stored in the AWS servers or locally within Home Assistant. On the DAN side, with all the certification for all the regions in the world they are sold in, they are not currently available everywhere. Check the links in the description for your region. Also, the HomeKit support is not across the whole range, but they are moving to this along with Matter support. So would I buy them, upgrade to them, or skip them? For me, it's an upgrade to them. The regional certification is the biggest factor in this. Imagine your house burning down and your insurance claim denied due to some AliExpress socket without certification malfunctioning. This single factor should have you rushing for the buy it now button, let alone the other features. Links in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider smashing that like button, joining the channel and subscribing. And if I've saved your house from burning down, then maybe a super thanks or buy me a coffee. It's really appreciated. Until the next one, let's keep those electricity bills low and your fires in the fireplace.